Hey you guys and welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. I feel like this is unnecessarily bright, but if I turn it down, I don't know, it feels bad. Anyway, hello! So in this video, I have a Sephora haul. Are they showing my? No, none of them are showing my address. So I have a Sephora haul. It's not as like big as it looks because I think one of these boxes only has one item. Another one of these boxes only has two items. And then this one has like an item and a bundle, if I remember correctly. So yeah, let's just get into this. Hey, Anthony. Yeah. Can you get me a knife? Should I have a knife? <laughs> did you say no? No. I did buy these in Sephora's Black Friday haul. And I have a little bit of a story. So what happened was Anthony, uh, he ended up getting a gift card from the place that he works. It was like for $200 and he gave it to me. I got to place an order through Sephora. It was my Christmas present. Initially, oh, I feel like that shows my address. I got the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 and <laughs> I didn't realize that she was no longer cruelty free. I mean, she may never have been cruelty free, but in my head, I feel like she was cruelty free and it came and it was beautiful it was gorgeous the packaging the interior the exterior the collars the shadows everything i really wanted to touch them but i didn't i had this palette i was looking all over the packaging and i saw like all these different things like they put the different stamps that identify palettes as being certain things and i never saw the cruelty free leaping bunny and i was like what wait what does this mean so I googled it and sure enough Pat McGrath is not cruelty free and that kind of sucks I mean it really sucks because shame on you Pat like you make enough money you should be cruelty free uh yeah you should be making better choices but so I took this $125 palette that my husband bought me and set it aside and was completely done also, I got the, I want to say it's the, either the Impulse or the Impulsive palette by Melt Cosmetics, which that's in one of these boxes because uh, I did reorder it. And I was so excited because I've always wanted to try Melt Cosmetics, which most of Melt Cosmetics is not only cruelty free, but vegan. I think there's like one of their stacks that's not vegan. And I think it's because it's like an older formula or whatever. So anyway, so I, we ended up taking the two items back to Sephora. Um, oh, so the impulsive palette came with one <laughs> shadow shattered. I unfolded it cause it's like a thing. It like unfolds. You'll see. And there was like <laughs> a sand castle of a shadow just kind of like hanging out there. And my daughter was like, um, mom and i looked at it and it was just like it still had its shape and everything and i was like there's no way so i thought like maybe i could like flip it back in no it like went everywhere so i called sephora we did an exchange well we did a refund and then put the money back on the card and i mean it was a pretty easy process but everybody in there was kind of shocked that i was bringing back a pat mcgrath and i don't think any of them had ever seen a pat mcgrath palette in person so Basically, they put the money back on a gift card because I had to repurchase the Impulsive palette because they don't carry it in store. And they were like, just hold on to the, the, the card because Black Friday is coming, you might be able to save more money. And that's what I got all of this with. And yeah, let's see what I got because, oh, I'm excited about this. Okay, so this is the Ciate London Glitter Flip. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is that, that lipstick that you put on. I think it's like glossy. I have uh, the Catrice. Is it the Catrice? I don't remember. It's some version. Okay, yeah, okay, so it goes on matte. And then you do this, and you like pop your lips apart, and then like all of a sudden it's just glitter. So this is what this looks like. Let me do the whole like hand thing. But this is what this looks like. I'll be honest, I've only tried one product from Ciate London. Nope, two, so two products from Ciate London. And the, the face powder, I'm like, meh, okay with. What else did I get from them? 
I don't remember, but I did love it. This, I have high expectations for, and I hope it works well. And I got mine in the shade Whisper. I thought I would do like a nude, because I have, like I said, whatever, not Makeup Revolution, I don't know. It, it's one of those affordable brands that kind of like duped uh, the Glitter Flip. I have like a very deep berry shade that I got as a free gift. And I kind of wanted a more nude that I could wear to like work and things like that. And then I also got the Neon Huda palette. You guys, Huda, 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 Huda. I don't know how to say it. I call them Huda as though there's like three O's. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at this. Hopefully it's focusing, but it is so pretty. So these are the neon shades. There's like hot pink. There's like a magenta. Ooh, there's like a very acidy lime greenish yellow color. Oh, I'm so excited. I really, this is the palette that I was most drawn to. I am super excited to try this and actually have one of their palettes in my possession. So that is box number one. I need to get my knife. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to save the gift card for was to get the, I think it's like the Amore Eterno palette duo from Melt Cosmetics and it's like, one is like a really smoky, deep blues and reds. The other one's like a very bright uh, yellows, orange, green type palette. And I wanted to get both of them. Both of them go together. They're supposed to be like sister palettes. And when you put the two packaging together, they make a sugar skull. So gorgeous. And so I was thinking, okay, maybe I can get the Impulsive palette, the two and more Eternal palettes, and then if it's Black Friday, maybe there'll be like another deal. But first I got the Impulsive palette, which was originally like 30, it was originally like 68, I think I paid like 33 or 35. But then I had the money left and I was gonna go buy the Amore Eternal palette, but it didn't launch until midnight. Well, I got off at 1 a.m. on Thursday, so technically Black Friday's morning, and I came home and I was thinking, okay, these palettes that have been talked about all over on YouTube, they're gonna be out of stock. They've been out for an hour, and I got on, and they weren't even available yet. So I looked up like when Sephora's actual launch times were, like what their time zone was, and it was Pacific, the Pacific time zone, and I live in Eastern. So I was like, okay, so 1 a.m. or midnight is a new 3 a.m., right? Am I saying that right? I believe so, yeah. I waited until 3 a.m., looked at the palettes again, still not available. Then I looked at it like 3.05, 3.09, still not available. And then all of a sudden, like, I wanna say like 3.13, 3.15, both palettes became available, but the one, the the lighter shades, like the yellows and the greens and the oranges, it was x out and it said out of stock. And I was like, oh my gosh, that one's already gone. So I hurriedly like just threw the darker palette, I think it's the Amore palette, and it's got all the blues and the reds and the just the deeper shades. I threw that in my cart, checked out. So that might honestly be this. It might be the only palette that I bought, I don't remember. But so I checked out and then I went back and it said both, both of the palettes were out of stock. Then I refreshed the page. This is the longest story for the stupidest thing. I refreshed the page and sure enough, both palettes were available. And FYI, I checked before making this video, both palettes are still available. Neither palette has sold out. Neither palette has gone on sale. Each palette is still $58. It was just it was just a weird launch. You know, like one palette launched properly, the other, well, sort of pop properly, it was delayed. The other palette launched weirdly, and I impulsively just checked out, and that's why I got these other two items. Um, so I think that is what is in here. Uh, what does this say? Because it says two items. Oh, I got the radioactive palette. Okay, yeah, okay, so I do remember this. This was like $30. Oh, it feels so cool. You guys, you cannot see this. But it is like holographic. It has the weirdest texture. Maybe you can see it. Oh, it's so cool. So I got this. I think this was like a version of the... So pretty. Oh, crap. I just bought... You'll see it when I do my Ulta Cyber Monday haul. But so this is what this palette looks like. It is all neon colors. It's supposed to be radioactive-isk. 
and I thought that this would be a good substitute for not getting the one palette. Uh, oh, they're like radioactive, uh, neon, arsenic, meltdown, hazmat, uranium. Oh, that's so fun. And it looks like there's like some shimmers and some mattes. That's a matte. Oh yeah. FYI, that's the first time I've ever touched Melt Cosmetics, so I'm excited. So this is, how do you say this in Spanish? M-U-E-R-T-E. Muerta? Muerta? Muerta. Muerta? Yeah. I don't speak Spanish and neither does my Mexican husband. <laughs> so this is like, so see what I mean? Like this is the blues and the reds. The other one is like, it's like, this is like the, the deep, dark, smoky, sultry palette. The other one is like the brighter, more colorful palette and they like go together and they make the skull. Uh, so this is one of the two. I will own the second one. Trust me when I say that. You guys, Melt Cosmetics kills it with their packaging. It's like rays. Part of it's like matte. Then there's some glossy parts. Then there's like almost like satiny parts. This is so pretty and it's so thick and heavy. I'm gonna open it for you guys first. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Okay, I really have to swatch the shimmer. Do you wanna see what you got me for Christmas? Or will yeah. I show you tomorrow? Show me more that I can Look at that shimmer. Do you guys see that? Oh, is that like a duochrome? No, it's just really, oh, it's like a black base with a blue shimmer. Those are so pretty. Okay, I'm really, I'm like intimidated by blues, but I'm super excited about playing with this palette. So that's all I got in that box. I am hoping and praying that my palette is not messed up. So this is the impulsive palette, you guys. This is, this is the palette, the packaging that came <laughs> with the impulsive palette. It is so freaking cute and I love it. And super nervous that I'm gonna open it and it's gonna be broken like the last one. This palette is cool, by the way. This is the outer packaging, okay? So you see that. Oh, it's already falling apart. Oh, but the shadows are all where they need to be. Okay. It doesn't have a mirror. Instead of having a mirror, which I'm okay with because I don't usually use palette mirrors anyhow, this is how it opens. And that is what it looks like on the inside. Is that not the coolest? And look, they're like stair-stepped. Do you see? So that it's like sandwiches together. And you guys, these shades are so grungy, they're so pretty, they're so, so, so gorgeous. And I have not swatched them. I'm gonna wait, and I'm not gonna swatch this until the video. But, again, I feel like it's kind of reminiscent of what I just bought. You have like the lighter, more wearable side, then you have the grungier, deeper side. I'm really excited about this palette. When I saw this palette reviewed, I knew I needed to have it. And then this, uh, this is the other thing that I got. I didn't expect it to come like this. This is supposed to be like one of those bundles that, oh good, it's taped as well. More knife time. This is, this is what I got. And they're supposed to be like the Sephora favorites and they're all minis. Um, First of all, I got a Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow, which I don't have anything by Natasha. It's shattered. Can you guys, can you guys see that? It's shattered. I can either repress it or I can just make it a loose. What does it do? Is it a highlight? Bummer. Oh, it is a highlight. The pink one is still there. So I'll just repress that, no problem. Um, it happens, it happens. I'm sorry if it looks like I moved, uh, my camera died and, well it didn't die, it just stopped filming and yeah, I had to fix that. Anyway, what I was trying to say was that I really feel like 
these are hard to take out as you can see i thought i filmed two more items and i did not but i they're really hard to take out so i wonder if like pushing them in to the carton like maybe that's what shattered natasha denona i know her formula can be really soft i would think that with how expensive she is that she would not be so soft but i don't know it's no big deal but anyway the next thing that i pulled out was this glitter topper in the shade dream and i don't know i think that's a lid topper there's no way that's a lip topper that would be insane could you imagine like that would be the most metallic lips ever then the next thing i got was this cooling water stick by milk and i'm pretty sure that this is a primer i don't remember i'm going to have to do a little bit of research to remember what it is that i've purchased next is the kaja is it called kaja i think it's called kaja uh full size cheeky stamp blendable blush okay so here's the stamp it's a little cute heart shape i <laughs> don't know what to do with this and then down here remove film before using so i think it's like not like a cream but not a liquid <gasps> it's cute okay it's got a little spongy sponge so it's probably more of a liquid than anything let's just go ahead and try it this has like a spring action. It's crazy. So you just do like a, like a little bloop. Okay. It's not as scary as I thought it was going to be, but then what do I do? Do I just like keep blooping it until all the bloops off of it? Oh no, I ruined the sponge. It's not. Aww. Does it just blend out? No, it does. It actually blends out really nicely. Okay, I can't wait to try this on my face. You guys, I'm going to save all of this to do like a first impressions of um, new products. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. It's also all over my fingers. So hopefully it doesn't stain like the Game of Thrones uh, cheek stain. Ooh. I just got my nails done and she was literally like using her little tool on my nail bed. And she was like, do you feel burning? And I said, you know, yeah, it does burn a little. She was like, you're almost to the quick. Like my nails are paper thin and they hurt so bad just to touch anything. This is a Violet Voss glitter topper in Dream, I believe. Diamond Lights Finisher. Again, I don't know if it's eyeshadow or if it's like a, like a cheek highlight. I'm not gonna open it, but it is very, very shimmery. I don't know if you guys can see. This one, I feel like my last Artist Couture, I have one of their loose highlights and it is messy. So I'm gonna save this and try it on camera. Oh, it hurts so bad to take out, what is this? Prisali Liquid Gloss. <laughs> It is the tiniest bottle ever, but you guys, Prasali is so expensive. And I can't figure out what you're actually supposed to do with it. So if it's liquid glass, it's what? Like a liquid highlight? And I always see the people on Instagram like do the whole like drops and drops and then they do their foundation. So I don't know if it makes their foundation look more dewy or what. Radiance Makeup Skin Serum with hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic. Feels, it sounds like foolish, you know? I don't know. I'm going to try it. I've never had anything by Frasali. Finally, there is a melt product, which I feel like... How many melt products do I have now? Three? This is a Melt Cosmetics full-size matte lipstick in Old Rose. I feel like Old Rose is the least attractive thing that you could call a lipstick. Oh, it's really pretty, though. It's kind of like a nudie rose. I mean, I get it. Old Rose, I feel like my grandma would have worn this. My mom on a nude day would have worn this. Like as an everyday shade, I would wear this. I'm not gonna try it. I'm not even gonna swatch it. If you wanna see me swatch it, watch the video. Why does it smell so good? It smells like sugar cookies, like not like vanilla. It smells like, like butter <laughs> mixed 
with flour. This reminds me of making like th specifically Christmas sugar cookies, which is perfect because it's Vlogmas, so yeah. These are the two full size, so I think that's pretty cool because it's supposed to be a $95 value. I paid, it was $39, marked down to $25. I remember that. So that's cool. Oh, this is cute, Sephora. The only thing I'm bummed about is the fact that, you know, Natasha's a little bit broken. That's okay, I'm gonna fix her. Okay, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like seeing what I purchased on Black Friday from Sephora. Let me know what you guys got, what your favorite deal was. We did get some deals for the kids, but obviously I'm not gonna post that on YouTube because my kids are snoops. Uh, yeah, but please like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye!